how 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 if you have do, there was so much source the source material was better than this movie. The Sleeping Beauty. Unfortunately, the movie's off to a rough start with a short but boring introduction. This movie seems to have scattered random scenes throughout the entire flick, but there's not there's not too many, so it's not a great distraction. Some of the characters' relationships in this movie seem to be in the dark, giving us with no explanation to what their relationship is. This could have been done in the movie's favor, however, in this case, it's just plain irritating. Some of the movie's characters aren't well explained, and again, despite the potential here, it's not done to the movie's favor. The majority of the characters aren't consistently on screen, with the exception of the main character, Anastasia, who is certainly interesting to say the very least. The effects in this movie range from surprisingly nice to fairly decent. Some of the transitions between scenes are tirelessly, so, are tiresomely confusing. Camera angles in the film tend to tend to stay still for long periods of time rather than switching periodically like most cinema. However, it does not distract from the story. The film at times feels very abstract, but that helps set a mood as well as a tone to the story. The story takes a little time to get where it wants, as well as to have a main focus. Once it gets there though, it's pretty interesting. Three and a half stars out of six. The story's very abstract and doesn't make much sense. I'm not even sure if it's supposed to, but when it does, it's brilliant, and even when it doesn't, it's still fairly entertaining. The plot is scattered throughout the story as well, and this tends to get on my nerves. Be warned, if you're going to check out this movie, it does have nudity, which only helps further one plot point. 